Here's the, here, here's the thing, chat. I have, I have a question. The Razzies. You know the Razzies? Basically, it's like, dude, these are the worst films ever. They're, they're freaking terrible, blah, blah, blah. Now, recently, so th this article is from like CBR. Despite Morbius nominations, it's time to end the Razzies. Okay. Now, everyone hates the Razzies now because they nominated a, a kid actor at, for whatever. I think it was Firestarter. You know, and of course, Drew Barrymore comes out and is like, to nominate a child, that's bullying. Uh, here we go. So when people complain about certain movies and actually give awards for them being so terrible, I'm, I'm okay with that. Like if I was an actor and I got one, I'd be like, yeah, dude, that movie. Yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, I tried. What am I going to do? I'll put this on the shelf. Whatever. Okay. So basically this whole article goes on about like how the Razzies are antiquated and essentially mean. They're mean chat. They're very mean. Now, they actually rescinded an award that they were going to give to Bruce Willis for his older, well, his current films. What do they call them? Like uh, geezer features or something like that because he's old and his acting wasn't up to par when they found out that he has aphasia and they're just like, oh, oh okay, well, he's, there's an issue there. Let's just take this back. The dude's trying to do his work, right? Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll allow that, right? But I feel like I aren't, like the Razzies, they, isn't that kind of like an important thing? You're like poking fun at uh, the big boys, you know, as it were. Nope, not that one. Boop. All right, there we go. This is actually from the actual site, Raz Razzie site, okay? So, uh, okay, this is the 43rd, 43rd annual. Satire is important in our society. I, I agree with you, but I, I feel like people consider it now bullying. You're bullying. You can't make fun of that. You're being a bully. No bully. Um, Let's see. 43rd any of it? Nah, look, worst picture. We got Blonde, Disney's Pinocchio, Good Morning, The King's Daughter, and Morbius. I've never, I haven't, I don't know what Good Morning is, Blonde or The King's Daughter. Morbius, I know, and Disney's Pinocchio, I know. I didn't even watch those. Tom Hanks as Geppetto. Do you think Tom Hanks cares if he gets a Razzie? He played uh, Colonel Tom Parker in the Elvis movie, and he was excellent in that tom hanks yeah i don't think he's gonna get bent out of shape about this jared leto yeah i mean that's that's your front runner right there and sylvester stallone samaritan you know so all of a sudden people are upset about this because whoever it was in firestarter i guess the kid in firestarter they may have may have taken that out so now, now, because like a kid actor is, they're like, hey, kid, you suck. Now everyone's like, ooh, the Razzies are bad. They don't care about quite literally any of these other actors, but the child. Think of the children. If a kid is going to get into acting in any level, you got to prepare them for that. Because the Razzies is clearly meant to poke fun and joke. You get a scathing review from somebody at the New York Times about your movie and your acting skills. You are done. This is a joke. Razzies is a joke. Real critics hitting you hard. That's something you got to worry about. And they should already be prepared for that. Just saying. But I know we cover the emotional instability and insecurity of everybody on the planet. But I figure if you're going to be in the acting field, you should be used to people judging you, you know? That's your whole career. You're judged on your looks, how you present yourself, how you act. And if they say you're not right for this part because you're A, B, or C, you should be used to that. That's your job. 90% of your job is getting rejected. 90%. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't get, well, we're worried about the sensitivities of those in Hollywood now. You're hurting my feels. 
well, you hurt my feels and took money from me. <laughs> Whatever. Is getting rejected by women also a job? Only if you get paid for it, you know? So if you were if you were the escort that was sent home with half your pay, then technically it's a job. You know? I know that there was a decision from the former child actors getting their careers derailed because of Razzie, Razzie nomination. If I was in Hollywood, I wouldn't take the Razzies seriously. Why would you? They're Razzies. They nominated Tom Hanks. They nominated Tom Hanks. And I think, let me see if I find that. Um, all right. Actors who actually have both Oscars and Razzies. Here we go. Let's go. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Razzie, Oscar. All right. And I could see that because I've seen him in some things. I'm just like, bro, come on. Kim Basinger. I can see that as well. Robert Benigni. Oh, dude. Uh, Johnny Stacchino. Bro. Bro. Johnny Stacchino. If you've never seen Johnny Stacchino, it's pretty good. It's the humor may or may not be there for you. It's a uh, Italian film. Uh, he was also in The Monster, which is pretty good. Holly Berry. I'm surprised she has an Oscar. Honestly, I figured she would have multiple Razzies. One for playing what Storm and then Catwoman here. Um, Storm was she was not good in that. I'm, I'm sorry. Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando of all people. I got a Razzie, but I also have an Oscar. Do they cancel each other out? I'm not sure. Um, Sandra Bullock. That that's. That's Razzie's all the way for me. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner's 50-50. I'll, I'll give him that. 50-50. You know? Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio got one? Bro. If, if he was going to get a Razzie for anything, I would figure it would be for what? Ghoulies 3 or whatever it was. Or no, that was Critters 3. He was in Critters 3. Believe it or not. He was this kid whose dad was a schmuck. The Man in the Iron Mask. Oh, Bro. Dude, I got, all right. I guess the man in the iron mask was awful. All right. No, surprisingly, it wasn't the beach. You know? Or Critters 3. <laughs> like, it wasn't, even, it wasn't even Critters 3 that they thought was bad. They were just like, you know what? It's, it's the man in the iron mask. Faye Dunaway. Eh, sure. I, I don't know enough of their career to speculate. Mel Gibson. Oh, I could see Mel Gibson getting that, you know? He's had some odd roles in his later career. The Fat Man being one of those where it was just kind of weird, but interesting. There was the one where he got like really obsessed with a puppet. And it, the performance was actually really good. And that was kind of when he was on the outs of Hollywood because he was like spouting off crap. Liza Minnelli. I could, I could see. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a thing. She was good in Arthur, though. Dude, with Dudley Moore? That was, that's, some, that's old, but, you know, it, it's actually really good. I actually, I like it better than a Russell Brand version of it. Oh, God, I want to see that now. See, I want to see that now. Liza Minnelli and Burt Reynolds in Rent-A-Cop. That's, like, on my watch list now. Lawrence Oliver? Huh. Shakespeare, Tennessee Wounds, not to mention Weathering Heights and Spartacus. Like, this guy was no joke. I don't know enough about acting and theater actors, but Lawrence Oliver was, like, top tier. He was, like, an actor-actor, you know? He's an actor's actor. Like, uh, Anthony Hopkins, you know, like, that level. Um, so what the hell did he get messed up for? Ill-advised remake of The Jazz Singer that also starred, starred Neil Diamond. Oof. Hey, Al Pacino! Al Pacino also got a Razzie. Al Pacino. I don't know. The, the concept of the Razzies, to me, to me personally, is fine. I have no problem with it. I, I don't care who gets nominated. I don't think Hollywood should even bother with those lists. It's fun. It's fun for the common person that has to look up at the ivory tower. You know? We get to throw our little stones. Eh. Eh. Take that actor who made millions and millions of dollars. Eh. Eh. You know, th this is the best we got. You know? Black Adam from Dwayne Johnson. Eh. It's terrible. Eh. You know? 
bro sitting on, on literally a building of money. Like, he, I mean, is he really going to get that bent out of shape out of it? About it? I mean, I wouldn't. If I had that kind of money, I'd be like, they didn't like the film. Eh, happens. <laughs> on to the next. <laughs> Whatever. Like, I, it, it's just, it's silly to me, you know? It's like uh, the fragile egos of actors. I'm like, why? You, you literally, you're working in a field where you pretend to be somebody else. If I was the kid actor, I'd be like, well, that's, I'm, I'm blaming the director. They told me to act this way. So, you know, whatever. So I, 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 I accept this Razzie in honor of the director. Throw him under the bus or her. You know, just throw him under the bus. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it could have been better, but, you know, the directing was a little choppy there. So, yeah, whatever. At least he got an award, kid. Remember, every, in this day and age, everybody should get an award for just for participating. You know? I think Holly Berry did that for Catwoman, one of the few people that went to accept the Razzies. Yeah, that's fine. You know? I mean, I, I would... I actually respect an actor more for going there to pick it up. You know? Be like, yeah, I was, I was not good. You know, this is, this is, you know what, this is going on my shelf as a reminder to be better. I would have a lot of respect for an actor that did that. I don't know about you, but if, if they said, I am going to put this on my shelf as a reminder to be better, to do better, to hone my craft so I don't get another one of these. Am I right? You know, that would be your acceptance speech. You know, nobody can roll with the punches in Hollywood anymore, apparently, you know? And I know Drew Barrymore sitting there pounding on a table, but it's a child. Whatever, child actors, I don't care. <laughs> like, I can't be bothered. Yeah, I know. And again, a lot of people will say, well, you know, the psychological impacts of that on a child. Bro, one, where are the parents? Where are the agents? Where is everybody else around them saying, you know what? Don't worry about it. And then pulling up a list of Marlon Brando getting a Razzie. Everybody gets one. You have good good films, you have bad films. They're not all going to be good. And then pull up uh, Black Adam by uh, Dwayne Johnson and be like, look, even The Rock made garbage. Okay? Yeah. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Look, look at Dwayne Johnson. He can blow his nose with $100 bills and it wouldn't even dent his wallet. 